Okay, guys, so what you're going to be doing for this week and next week is showing me all of the skills that you have developed with your programming and your tutorials that you've done over the last week. So what I want to do is just popping back into the game and I've just found a spot here where I'm going to do my building. Okay, so I find I might just move over here a bit where it's a bit of a larger space, a bit clearer for me. Okay, so you'll remember when we were back in class and your class had to do a build challenge. So you were to spend the lessons building something um, that you were interested in doing um, of your own and you were to build that in creative and individually. Now, this is the reason why I asked you to do that. And that is because now using the skills that you've done in your tutorials that you've been working through over the last couple of weeks, you're now going to try to rebuild that class, uh, that building in Minecraft using code. So the first one, mine's called Agent Wall because I've built, a, I've gone on top of um, the code that I did in the tutorial. So first of all, I want to teleport to, no, I don't want to teleport to anywhere. I want that block to delete. Okay, so because I don't want it to teleport, I want to do it right here where I am. Um, maybe I need to, <clears throat> no, I'm going to put a chat command and here and I'm going to teleport my agent to my player so that's going to bring my agent to me okay so I've got my active slots for my agent I've got my um, chisel quartz and I've also got some stained glass I think I'm going to go for Ooh, I might go, yeah, I might go the lime green just for something. Actually, no, I don't want to go lime green because I want it to be a nice contrast. Um, maybe the yellow. I'll go with that. And what I've got is I'm going to get my agent to build using the chisel quartz and the um, yellow stained glass windows so we're just gonna I'm gonna show you what my program does and see how it looks when we get going so if I just click play here <coughs> and whoops hang on a second okay yep wall is my pro code for that so first of all um, I want my agent to come to me and here is my agent righto so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fly away from my agent slightly just so I've got a better view of what my agent is doing if I pop that back down there and hide that then you'll be able to see this a bit better so I'm going to give my agent the wall command and let's watch what he's doing so He's not just building a wall, he's building four walls. Okay. And goes up and builds. So I'm just going to let this go and show you what it looks like in a moment. Here we go, he's building the glass putting the glass on, these are my windows, and it looks like he's run out of some of the glass blocks, so we've got just a little bit of a break in the um, windows here, so there's something not quite right with my code. That's okay. Just going to build a bit of a glass wall and then watch what happens next because he is going to repeat this. And 
repeating that four times. And then we're going to, oh, we're repeating it more than four times. And here we go. So this is where, so it's repeated five times, one, two, no, six layers of glass. And then we're going to build two layers of solid floor and wall again. And then we're back to the glass window. So you can get that idea there that I've got it working on different levels. Now, what I've also got is, if I go, oh, not that, back to there, C, back to my code. If I go back to home, I've got another um, wall that I've been working on as well. Now, this one is a little bit more elaborate. So, I've got a wall and again I want to delete that block and I've got my chiseled stone again, my chiseled quartz sorry, I've got a blue window but I've also got this greenery okay so I'm not going to show you the whole video of my agent building this but what I will do is pop that in just at the end of the video for you so you can all see what this building looks like as well as my other one and I want you to spend some time working through your code and see if you can't build similar to the building you made in your build challenge at the start so that's what you're going to be working on over the next couple of weeks uh, this week and next week if you get stuck please email me send me your code and I'll help you work through it now, just to send me your code, if you click on the settings tool here and save your project, it'll give you the option to save it. Now, this might take a while to come up. Um, give it some sort of name. Um, leave the .mkcd on the end and it might be build challenge one. Okay, save that and that code now wherever that's been saved to and you should always just check to see exactly the file path that it's taken. Um, if I just copy that, save that again and go into my folder, I can then go in here and paste it and it'll take me straight to it. So. Um, here's my build challenge file and that MKCD file, a a file, if you attach that to an email, I can get in there and have a look and help you with it. Okay. So that's what I want you to be working on. If you could be doing that, that would be great because then I can, um, help you all with your code and you can get as good a building as you like with the code that you've got. Um, in there okay so I'll pause this now do the build and then come back and you'll be able to see what my code looks like all right I'll see you soon okay so my agent has finally finished building this basic tower here of the Cobblestone and oh, sorry, the quartz and the yellow glass. So I re, you can see I've repeated that four times. Um, I don't have a roof on this building yet, but there's uh, some simple code that I can put in to make it build that roof. Um, and I've got a nice big skyscraper. Okay, so that's my first attempt at the building and if I turn around <coughs> over here this is my second building so what I've done is just as a bit of extra decoration 
I've added the hedge in as a layer on top. I've changed the um, quartz that I'm using as my building stone. I've then got my hedge and I've got that layered up there. So once you get your basic structure happening and how you want that to look, then you can start adding these additional features just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And again, I still need to work on this roof. Now, what I can do is just quickly show you um, pillar quartz. So if I want my roof to be there, if I myself up um, on top there, I'm standing on top of that block and I want to see my coordinates. So that is in the settings. All right, so I've turned my coordinates on now and I can see that my position, and I'm just going to write these down, is 476108 Now, if I go directly diagonally across, because this is where I want my roof to go, and put myself on this corner here, Oops, just make sure I'm right here where I want to be. Okay, and now this is my coordinate 4831081109. And what I can do is if I go into my code and I can build a roof and I'm going to pop in the which one fill with and I'm going to put in my pillar quartz because I want it the same as the walls that I've already got in here and I'm going to change these positions to world positions and that's why I've written the coordinates so world positions in both of those and 476108 is my first set so that's the first position I was standing at and 483 one zero eight double one zero nine is my second. Now, if I've done this correctly, this is going to instantly lay out a flat roof on top of my building. So I can move myself away just so I'm not interrupting here. And if I type roof, we can only have our fingers crossed and hope that there we go, my roof has been built. So I've just used, again, one tap mm -hmm. command, the fill with, and then chosen my block and using the world positions rather than the approximate two positions and put in my two diagonally opposite coordinates and that's put my roof in. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope you have been able to see how to get a building built. Remember to take lots of screenshots. Um, and when you've got all of your work done, put it in a PowerPoint, like I showed you before, using this settings cog, save your project to save your code and you can submit all that next week into Daymap. Have a good time and if you need any help, check in with me and I'll be able to help you.